Hey guys, welcome back to Light Skin Gaming. Today is a beginner's guide for new players and just telling you guys what I think you should buy in which order so you can go from beginner to like a millionaire as fast as possible. And I have this pretty down pat because I've helped so many different players getting rich through this method. So I want to get you guys started off the right way and I'm going to tell you exactly what you should do or exactly what I did and what I think you should do and um, help you fix the mistakes I made when I first started. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is get $50,000. Now when I was playing this feature wasn't available but the first thing you're going to want to do is become get 50 k and the reason being for that is you guys can become a VIP if you have that money in your account. Now the best way for a new player generally speaking to get this money is either run VIP missions with a friend if you have one but if you don't go and run double XP and double money missions. Now these are easily found in the job section and they are usually in the adversary modes. Now when you first sign in on this game you guys will find that you have three options either online story mode or this special mode of your choice usually I think it's RB you press to get to it now guys that is the quickest way to get to it but if not you go into jobs go to play jobs go to rockstar created and then go to adversary mode most of the time sometimes it's in other categories but you're just gonna scroll through these as fast as you want and you'll find one that says double XP, double RP. And right now, I believe it is Slasher and Occupy that are double X RP, sorry, and double money. So that is a great way. You guys will be racking in around twenty to thirty thousand dollars if you're winning your matches um, doing this. So again, this is a great way to make that money, or having a friend help you do VIP missions or CEO work um, that is a better option but again if you don't have a friend that is it now later in the video I'm gonna tell you guys what weapons to buy because at first you don't really have that many options if you can as soon as possible pick up the mini Uzi I didn't mention this until later or show you guys this till later on in the video but I definitely recommend you pick that up as fast as possible that is a key component to you guys success now also, if you were on uh, first gen consoles, so Xbox 360 uh, or PlayStation 3, you guys could possibly get the Duco Death for free, which is an armored vehicle. If you guys can, check that out. I'll be showing you guys that later and how to get that. So make sure you watch this guide all the way through and you can get that for free. Right now I'm driving the Kruma, which is my recommended vehicle. So once you've obtained the $50,000, you guys can become a VIP yourself and do these missions by yourself and I recommend you guys doing this in a invite only session this way new players uh, get a chance to get used to the game online and get exposed to the missions without having the awful grievers and just normal players killing them 24 7 because that's what this game is about apparently so what you're gonna want to do is hold the back button so you can get to your um, interaction menu and go to Circro serve and register as a CEO it'll probably say register as a VIP and that is because you do not own a CEO office so you just have to have the 50k remember guys you're not spending the 50k you just have it and that allows you and gives you access for that you're a very important person now because you have that much money and you have access to these missions this will only be active for four hours and then you have to re-register so that's not a big deal it's not like you lose the 50k you just can re-register every four hours now two missions you guys are going to want to do is headhunter and sightseer now these missions I have done in other videos over and over again headhunters simply go kill the targets and sightseer and ask App, use an app to find a location on the map by unlocking a lock and it will tell you where to go you pick up the briefcases up to three briefcases and the headhunter mission is four targets and these missions can be done typically under five minutes in a car three minutes in a buzzard or air vehicle so this is your new money grind guys uh, I also have a new money grind option and I think it's actually better than the sightseer and headhunter mission if you have a friend. So if you have a friend, definitely check this method out. It's the scuba suit um, salvage and headhunter combination and you guys could be making a lot of money very close to the end game result with this method. So I'll link that in the description box below.
So after you've grinded enough money over and over again using either of these methods, you guys are going to want to go and buy the Del Piero Heights apartment. Now this is up here to the left. And the Del Piero Heights apartment is a great pick because it gives you access to heists and it gives you access to a garage and that will let you have a personal vehicle. How you get that apartment is very simple. You go onto your phone and go into the internet section and you can go straight into Dynasty 8 in the bottom left hand corner. It moves around but most of the time it is down there but if it's not you go to money and services and go to Dynasty 8. And then you're gonna want to click view properties and listings and this how this apartment is high-end so guys you get in a high-end apartment already and you guys probably this is only a few hours in and you can pick up this Del Piero Heights apartment 7 20,000 make sure you're getting this one for sorry 200,000 10k 10 car garage this one specifically there's one right beside it that looks identical you'll see and it's 468,000 guys. That's not the one you guys want to pick up. It's the same thing on the inside guys. There's no functionality difference between the two houses guys. They both host heists. They both have a 10 kit car garage. Pick up this one. You're a beginning player. If you want to upgrade later, you can always trade it in. Now, now that you're done that and you have your house, you can now have access to heists. So I'm going to show you guys the apartment and how you guys get into heists. Now I know this might be moving along very fast, but there are tons of guides online that show you the basics of running heists and things like that. And I have a few guides on here that will show you the basics on moving with the interface and that. But I'm just telling you guys what I think you guys should be purchasing in which order. So remember guys, first goal, 50k. Second goal, get VIP work. Third goal, buy an apartment so you have access to those heists. Again, if you have access to a Dugo Death for free, pick that up. Now that you've done all of this, you guys are going to want to go buy a body armor before you go and do the heist or after you do the heist. You might not have the money yet, but you can always grind VIP work. A lot of players won't do it with you if you do not have the body armor. So I'll show you guys where to purchase that after I show you how to get to the heists. All right. Now, since you're a new player, you guys get bonus for completing all the heist setups and missions like that. So you want to be the host and you want to run through it all the heists. That's your next goal and you guys will have a lot of money to run and pick up the next few purchases. All right. So this is the planning board. You press right on the D-pad to start your heist and pay the setup cost. And yes, there is a setup cost. Each heist has a different setup cost going from um, least to greatest. 11 point five K to a hundred K in setup costs and you want to do these in order Felicia prison break humane raids Sears a funding Pacific standard job and you want to do these in that order because you get a order bonus so if you do them all in order in your own heist and don't do anyone else's heist you guys will get a one million dollar bonus I believe that is doing the Felicia job is also a great way to grind money if you have a friend but again the VIP work usually is best way now that you guys have purchased and done the heist or just before the heist and you have a little extra cash, you guys are going to want to run over here and pick up some weapons. <laughs> Definitely want to do this before you do the heist, the weapons end of it, but the armor part can wait. So I'm going to go through the weapons I like the most and the weapons you guys actually have access to. So first off, pick up the sniper rifle. That's micro SMG is key guys again i told you this and a parachute is also key you guys should definitely be picking up a parachute as soon as you reach that level but the micro smg guys is so important because you need that to shoot out of vehicles effectively either that or an ap pistol but micro smg is one of the most favored weapons and pick up the extended clip for that as soon as you can too because you guys are going to be surprised at how often you actually use this weapon now, if you hit X when you're on top of rounds, you have a toggle option, and that will give you the ability to buy all the ammo for this weapons category. So you'll have full SMG um, ammo. So that only cost me 3000 so guys, recommend picking up full ammo for that weapon because you'll be using that a lot. Also, you guys will be having the option of assault rifles. I like the advanced rifle and the carbon rifle the most. And those are the ones I recommend, but you guys might not have access those to those later. The heavy sniper is definitely the better pick for snipers. 
But the normal sniper is what you'll have access to, so pick that up. And of course, we have the RPG, minigun, and the uh, homing launcher as well. Now, the RPG is 100% necessary. The, the minigun is also a very nice option. And then the combat MG, definitely pick that up if you can't afford those others. Guys, the homing launcher is also a must-have. Pick that up as soon as possible. So that's pretty much it. The assault shotgun, I love that. Pick that up too. Everyone has their own opinion on what weapons are the best. I don't care what ones are the best. I like the ones that I like to use because I'm comfortable with them and I like the way they use. Again, down here is where you get all the pistols and explosives. Ease up on the explosives when you're first starting. They do become costly when you don't know how to use them and you misuse them and they're just expensive in general for newer players. Now we're gonna move on to the armor over here. Before doing the heist, or even after doing the heist, at all times you should be maxed out on all types of armor. So you should have all he super heavy armor, all light armor, all of those, because that way you can spawn armor in, in the middle of the heist. Now, before the heist or after the heist, I think you might have to unlock it. I can't remember because it's been so long, but this is so important whether you're a new player or an old player. If you guys don't have this yet, this is going to make a huge difference in your gameplay. So you're going to go to outfits over here in this area. And you're gonna want to go to heist heavy I believe it's called yeah heist heavy combat and pick out any one of these I picked the strength because I like the way it looks but there's no difference in between of these they just have color differences and these will give you um, a armor increase in game like it will actually make you take less damage to the chest area in missions and in the heist it does not do this in the free mode but there is something you can pick up that makes you take less damage for online and in missions and that requires you to go to the mask store and i'm gonna show you guys where that is in relativity to your apartment now your apartment's just back there, I just passed it not too long ago. And you guys are just gonna wanna drive down here to the beach Sorry. and you guys will find a mask pop up on your mini map. And once you guys get that popped up, you see oh, the little not. drama mask there. You guys are gonna wanna pick up something called a bulletproof helmet and I'll show you guys exactly how to pick that up. Now that bulletproof helmet, well obviously makes your head bulletproof. So instead of being one shot for a headshot, you guys have a chance of surviving. And Guys, that's really important, especially with the new vehicles and stuff like that where you can duck. If you duck with a bulletproof helmet, it's almost impossible for them to shoot you out. Like, it makes it very difficult for them, especially with the, the limo lights and stuff like that. If you get the black helmet, it really makes you blend in with the um, windows. So you guys have picked up your armored helmet, etc. The next purchase after you've done the heist or you have a lot of money is the armored crewman and that's the vehicle i'm driving right now it is currently on sale for three hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars all right guys that is a blowout deal guys you guys got to get that but on, in all honesty this vehicle should be your if you don't have the duco death should be your first personal vehicle unless um pick up the allergy because it is free all right but it is not armored. This is an armored vehicle. If you were to purchase a vehicle, like you want to, you're looking at a sports vehicle and stuff like that, you don't pick that up right now. You guys are beginning, you guys need a fast, overall, well built car. This is armored, has four seats, and it's fairly fast, guys. This will get you through almost any mission with no problem. So, this is the vehicle to have. I recommend even like advanced players that have the Duco Death and have all those fancy things. You guys got to have this vehicle. This vehicle has helped me so much and I avoided buying it because I had the Duco Death and the Insurgent and all these other armored vehicles. But this vehicle is quite unique because the bulletproof windows are really, really, truly bulletproof. Like it's impossible, impossible for NPCs to shoot you out in this thing. Now, now that you've purchased this, your next purchase after grinding heists and grinding VIP CEO work, you guys will want to buy Maze Bank West. And I just showed you guys how to pick that up. And you want to pick that up by going into Dynasty 8 Executive and purchasing Maze Bank West. Do not purchase the other options because you're beginning and you don't have a lot of money and there's no benefit to picking up the other options that are way more this is only one million dollars and the rest are, are all way too expensive for you guys because 
Well, you guys are just trying to get by and start making that money. Now, the disappointing part about having to make this purchase is that it doesn't give you access to anything too special. It just allows you to become a CEO without having any money. Now, once you purchase this, Again, there's no difference other than location, guys. They all have the same functionality. So you're not getting much more out of the CEO offices that cost three, four million, all right? So you're gonna, guys are gonna pick up this one and you guys are going, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial. Now, in here, this girl right here, this girl's a fine lady. She's gonna hook you up with some free snacks. It's not really free because you just paid a million dollars for your thing, but no, guys. And it also gives you the ability to spawn out special vehicles and spawn in your own vehicle from the office and you can withdraw a vehicle from any garage that you guys have that is huge guys that is a quite a big advantage you want to access your computer here and you do that simply by pressing right on the d-pad and going into your vehicle cargo now i have a whole tutorial guys and that's where i'm going to talk to you guys about the next purchase is 1.6 million dollars and i know this is crazy amount of money but you want to pick up the lamenta vehicle warehouse and the lamenta vehicle warehouse is the same as all the other vehicle warehouses except for location and it's actually one of the better located warehouses in my opinion i'd almost say it's second best for uh location other than the fact that there's going to be shark card salesman there but other than that guys it's a great warehouse it does the same as every other warehouse and you guys want to pick this up and this is where you guys start making your money back this is where you guys start being able to purchase whatever you guys want now i have a guide on this and it tells you everything you need to know about purchasing it and how to purchase it and the basics of the interface and it uh I have a written up guide on this. You guys can check that out. I'll link that in the description box below as well. And it pretty much tells you everything you need to know to run this warehouse effectively and as efficiently as possible. Now there's different methods and I have multiple different methods laid out there for you. Whether you're solo or whether you have a group of people, it's best when you have a group of people. The buzzard real quick is on sale as well. And this is your next purchase after the vehicle warehouse. Now the vehicle warehouse is like number one on the list but the chopper guys being on sale you might want to pick that up first but remember you guys aren't going to be making as much money without the vehicle warehouse so in my opinion i'd pick up the vehicle warehouse and even if the buzzer comes off sale it's all right because you guys are going to make that money that's easy money when you have a vehicle warehouse guys the buzzer is on sale and as you've seen there the duco death was there i'll show you guys again about how to get the Duco Death. But that buzzer being on sale, guys, that's huge. If you don't have one already and you're just watching this video because you want to know what you think you should buy next, that is great to pick up the buzzard. And that is the reason why right here is because you can just spawn it in anywhere on the map, any road. It's not like you have to go pick it up like regular Pegasus vehicles. And you do that by holding the back button, going to Secret Service, and then you go to CEO vehicles, and you can spawn in your buzzard whenever you want when you purchase one. If you do not have one, it's gonna cost you 25K just to spawn it in once. And once it's destroyed, it's destroyed. You have to pay another 25K, so do not do that. Just buy the buzzard when you get enough money. The next thing you guys have to do to put yourself over the top and start making that money like crazy. Let's go to Maze Bank foreclosures on your phone and go to bunkers and pick up a bunker. You're gonna pick up this bunker specifically. Why? Because it's the cheapest and we're here to make money and get you to zero to hero as fast as possible. And the fastest way to do that is to go to Largo Zancudo Bunker and Lago <laughs> Zancudo Bunker. And it's only 1.5 million and that's not that much. I know it seems like a lot, but once you upgrade it, it's gonna be making way too much money for you guys to even think of because guys with this bunker and the other next two things i tell you to buy you guys don't even have to touch it you'll touch it once like every 12 hours all right guys you don't even have to do a mission for it. you just have to go over there every like two and a half hours and say hey i need more supplies you guys aren't going to be doing the supply missions all right guys and then the next thing you're going to want to buy is biker clubhouse and some people would say buy the biker clubhouse first and this is the clubhouse the great chaparral um clubhouse that is the one I think you should pick up, the 101 Route 68. Um, again, don't buy any of the upgrades. There's no benefit. They're all the same other than location, just like everything else. But yeah, this one specifically because it's the cheapest. It's under, it's sub 200K. So once you pick up that, you'll have access to Motorcycle Club War. That's also great to make money if you don't have access to a CEO. You can always run that first. Again, I recommend you buy the CEO first because without that, you cannot buy the vehicle warehouse and the vehicle warehouse is your main money source. 
Now that you've uh, obtained that, you can head over to your motorcycle club and purchase the last big item. Alright, so once you get to your motorcycle club, you're just going to want to walk in here real quick. But I'll show you real quick. In this room right here, that's where your contracts are. You can do all the missions and stuff like that and make some big money. You also have an interface for your motorcycle club where you can do different missions as well and challenges. For this computer you have to register as a president before you can use it. Once you have done that, you guys are going to want to go in the computer real quick and pick up the meth lab and cocaine lab. Cocaine is primary, you pick up that one first, the cheapest one, and the methamphetamine is your second one. Now if you're feeling optimistic you can pick up the weed, but you already have a bunker and two other businesses including the methamphetamine and cocaine business that are side hustles that you don't really want to add the weed on unless you're experienced and it can be overwhelming. So cocaine and meth. For businesses you go CEO office, vehicle warehouse, bunker, cocaine and then meth now the bunker and cocaine and meth are all side hustles you guys just buy your supplies for those businesses and I have tutorials on how to run those businesses separately this is just an order of what things you should be running and what uh, things you should be buying if you're a new player in my opinion everyone has a different opinion starting from the top first goal 50k so you can and you can get that through running VIP missions with friends or doing double XP, uh, double money missions. Number two, start headhunter and VIP work so you can make that money. Number three, buy the Del Piero Heights place. Number four, buy body armor and do all the heists. Number five, buy the Kruma. Number six, buy the CEO office. Number seven, buy the vehicle warehouse. Number eight, buy the buzzard. Number nine, buy bunker, coke, and meth business. And number ten, guys, you're rich AF, guys. You're rich AF. You guys don't even know how much money. You guys are never going to worry about money again, honestly. And then you guys want to buy the Dugo Death if it is free. Now, special mentions, I pick up a cargo bob. Definitely pick up a cargo bob because that will help you with your vehicle warehouse making more money and taking less damage. And then a scuba suit just for all around just because why not when you're in water in the game you'll be in water at one point it'll be very effective. So guys if you liked the video or found this video helpful if you got to this point in the video you definitely found it useful so please leave a like comment and subscribe and as always 